Shalom and greetings to one and all in the precious and magnificent name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, I thank and praise God for this wonderful privilege He has given me to be able to connect with you through this channel and share a word of encouragement. Today, as we look around, we see that tension and anxiety are increasing due to the current circumstances prevailing in the world today. Today, everyone's number one topic is COVID-19. Corona, in fact, has invaded the lives of many, shaken the world economy, hit the headlines, and even challenged the faith of many Christians. But my question to those who have placed their faith in Jesus Christ is this. Is the Lord truly your shepherd? If in fact he is your Lord, then you will want nothing. This morning, I would like to share a few thoughts which the Holy Spirit has given me from Psalm 23 and verse 1. This beautiful psalm was written by King David, a man known to be after the heart of God. He himself was a shepherd and the Lord raised him up to be the second king of Israel and through his lineage, the savior, deliverer, Messiah, Jesus was born. As David unveils the story of a sheep and a shepherd, the relationship between the two to the Lord of heaven and earth. Psalm 23 and verse 1 states, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not go. Here we see David boldly declaring that he will not want anything or lack anything as long as God is his shepherd. Precious ones, there is a vast difference between needs and wants. A need is defined as a necessity. Things that are required for the survival of a person. Things such as water, food, shelter, air, clothing and not much else in this category. These are the things without which we would not be alive. On the other hand, a want is defined as things a person desires either immediately or in the future, but can live without as well. For example, when a person who owns a Toyota desires a BMW, that's a want. Now you see both cars travel on four wheels. The Toyota and the BMW are capable of taking one from one destination to another. So here we see David boldly declaring that as long as the Lord is his shepherd, he shall not want. Now the role of a shepherd is this, to take care of his sheep, to protect them, to provide for them, and to care for them. And we see that these provisions came on a daily basis. In the morning, the shepherd would lead his sheep out and then in the evening, bring them back. Precious ones, Jesus himself declared in the Lord's Prayer that we ought to pray and ask God to give us this day our daily bread. And daily bread refers to all that one needs 
on a daily basis. In the Middle Eastern culture, bread is a staple meal. Now if you come from Asia, rice is what you have on a daily basis. And here we see that each and every day we ought to ask the Lord for what we need only for that day. Each day differs from the other. And we are called to trust God for what we need on a daily basis. The first criteria to lack nothing in the midst of all circumstances that we are facing right now is to have a personal relationship with the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. Today, to many people, the Lord is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is the God of Moses who divided the Red Sea, the God of Elijah who provided through a raven. But who is Jesus to you on a personal level? Here we see David declaring that he has a personal, intimate relationship with the maker of heaven and earth with his shepherd and all that he requires he receives from him beloved ones today who is Jesus to you all these testimonies of God being the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob are great but do you have a personal encounter yourself with the Lord. Do you know him? Does he know you? Don't base your opinions on what others say. You've got to know him for yourself. When you know him, things change. The second criteria to lack nothing in the midst of all circumstances is to fear the Lord and not to in Psalm 34 and verse 9, the word of God declares, Fear the Lord, he saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. One of the greatest problems we see today is a lack of the fear of God. People no longer are afraid to use the name of the Lord in vain. They make numerous claims of false accounts that this, that and the other was spoken by the Lord directly to them. There is no respect for those who have been placed above them by God's authority. Today we are living in an era where people refuse to take correction and get offended quickly. This morning I'm reminded of the story found in Matthew chapter 16 where Jesus rebuked Peter for making the wrong statement. But Peter never left Jesus, precious ones. Why today people are offended, they are irritated, they refuse to be corrected and directed. People do not feel the Lord anymore. There is no reverence for God. But the Word of God declares this morning that the one who fears the Lord doesn't fear the circumstances. Nothing can threaten such a person. Be it hardship, be it trouble, be it persecution, be it famine, nakedness, danger, sword, neither the present nor the future can threaten such a person who fears the Lord Jesus Christ. When you fear the Lord Jesus Christ, every other fear becomes a shadow. Beloved ones, in Psalm 100, the word of God says, this is the day that the Lord has made. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds my tomorrow. And if God holds your tomorrow, then you better fear the Lord and not your circumstances. Because if you fear the Lord, He will provide for you. 
He will protect you. He will guide you. He will shield you and give you what you need on a daily basis. The third criteria to lack nothing in the midst of all circumstances is to seek the Lord. Psalm 34 verse 10 declares, The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Today many are living unsatisfied lives because they have set their affections, their hearts on the wrong objects. Looking for satisfaction from this, that and the other. In fact, the Apostle Paul in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 11 declares, the secret of being content in any and every situation. Whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in need. He says he has his affection on the rock of ages who never shakes. He says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because his heart, his affection, his joy is derived from the Lord. He sought the Lord. So no matter what his circumstance was, whether he was well fed or whether he was hungry, that did not matter to him because his heart was set on the one who could bring him joy in the midst of his circumstances. Precious ones, if you place your happiness on your loved ones, they may disappoint you or let you down. If you place your happiness on things such as a new car, a mobile, clothes, more money, an increment or a job, they will all get outdated. But when you fix your eyes on the author and the finisher of your faith, you will lack no good thing. Precious ones, today if any one of you feels anxious or troubled about the future, then this means that you're not living for the day. I want to urge you to make the Lord your shepherd by maintaining a personal relationship with the Lord, fearing Him, and finally by seeking Him with all your heart. Focus on the true light so that the shadows of doubt, fear, worry, and stress of what tomorrow holds will pass away. Then you will be able to be satisfied irrespective of the circumstance. Make the Lord your shepherd. Make him your everything. And you will lack nothing in the midst of your circumstances. The Lord bless you. Maranatha.